Hi again, this is Dale from ChainsawsDirect.com. Hey, I wanted to talk to you today about a safety issue that everybody should be aware of if you're using a chainsaw. Uh, chainsaws have a natural kickback, and the reason they have kickback is because of the rotation of the chain when the bar of the nose comes in contact with any kind of object, maybe even what you're cutting. Um, the kickback zone is a area that's an upper quadrant of the nose of the bar. Um, if that comes in contact and you're not in control of the saw, the saw is going to have a, want to naturally kick up towards the user. Um, so what chainsaw companies have been doing is, is designing chains that help reduce that. Um, what they'll do is they'll design a chain, they'll mount it on the saw, the saw is then locked into a free swinging frame, and then the saw is pushed into wood. And when the chainsaw comes into the wood, It'll touch the wood and it'll kick back. And what they do is then they rate the degree of kickback. And the uh, American National Standards Institute has set a standard for a chain, whether it could be considered a low kickback chain or not considered a low kickback chain. Even though all chains all have some sort of kickback reduction feature, uh, some of them are just doing a little better job than others. And one of the ways they do it, there's actually three different ways. Uh, one of them is... They will, um, the depth gauge in the front of the chain will have a design that will help reduce it. A uh, second one is they will add a bump on the top of the tie strap. And the third one is they'll add a bump on the top of the uh, drive link. And what happens is when a chain comes around the nose of the bar, the uh, extensions protrude and reduce the amount of wood that the cutter can take, and that reduces the kickback. Um, so if you want a safety chain, what you would do is when you go into our bar and chain finder and you look up the chain that you want, find the one that fits your saw, you're going to see there's they're either marked with a green triangle or a yellow triangle. Well, the green triangle means it meets the ANSI standard and has the least amount of kickback, whereas the yellow ones, again, will have some reduced kickback, but they're not meeting that standard. So if you're a homeowner, if your kids are going to be using the saw, um, you definitely absolutely want to go with the green safety chain if possible. Um, that's all I have for today. If you have any questions, please contact me at chainsawsdirect.com. Thanks for your time.